Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by. I really do appreciate it. As you can tell, I'm out at Tallgrass Shooting Sports and I need to say thank you to Mike and Lisa. They own this place and allow me to come out and shoot and without their support, uh, producing content for you guys would be a lot more difficult and probably not as good. Not that it's all that great anyway, <laughs> but anyway, Mike, Lisa, thank you so much for being one of the biggest supporters of the channel. Uh, I've got a link down in the description below to a nonprofit organization that they run called Foster Teen Camps. I'd encourage you guys to check that out. And if you have the ability to donate, please do. All right, so we're gonna be talking about the Taurus G3C one more time. I've got a video right here reviewing this pistol and, um, if you're not interested in checking that video out, that's fine. I'd encourage you guys to, but realistically, I think that the G3C is the pistol that this series of pistols should have always been. Uh, so good on Taurus on making the upgrades on this. Uh, again, check out that video if you're interested in uh, learning more. With that being said, all of these pistols from Taurus, the PT-111, the PT-111 G2, the G2C, and now the G3C has a, um, has a feature on it that a lot of people think that is a really great feature, but I beg to differ. It is a great feature, but not for the reasons that they think. And what is that, and what are we talking about? That's going to be the second strike capability of this pistol. If you're new to firearms, you don't understand what second strike capability is. Basically what that means is I'm able to pull the trigger and the striker is gonna drop against a round in the chamber. If uh, for some reason that round doesn't go off, I can reset the trigger and pull the trigger again, allowing that striker to drop on that misfired round a second time, hopefully to ignite that round should there be a light primer strike uh, or something to that effect. A lot of people tout that second strike capability is a major asset in a pistol, and I would say, yeah, it is for dry fire practice. That's really the only reason I personally feel uh, a pistol with second strike capability is good for. Now that is my opinion based off of my experience and the training that I've had, but uh, realistically, that's what we're gonna be talking about here. Why is it not a good thing to have on a defensive pistol? Well, the remedial action for fixing a click no bang is to tap rack your slide to eject that round and to get back up on target and put rounds down range. If you're defending yourself, your family, your home, you're going to want to get from point A to point B in protecting yourself as quickly as possible. And if you are hoping that second strike capabilities is going to fix the problem, it's going to probably prolong your ability to put rounds down range to stop an intruder or stop an individual who is trying to harm you. So what I've done is I've got some dummy rounds right here. I'm going to load up these dummy rounds. I'm gonna put one in two magazines, uh, one of each of the magazines. N not knowing where that round's going to be, uh, I'm just going to draw up on a target. I'm going to fire until I get a click. I'm going to use the second strike capability and then fix that problem to illustrate how much longer that is by doing just a standard shoot until it goes click, tap rack, and then continue on target. So we're gonna do that, let's check it out. All right guys, got the target set up downrange about three yards because that's what the FBI says a violent encounter would incur at. Uh, obviously got the G3C, we've got the shot timer, and then I have two magazines with 10 rounds each. There's a dud in one of these or both of these magazines at some point, I'm not sure where, I've mixed up the magazines, so I'm not sure which one is which. And we're gonna go through the second strike capability, follow that up with the uh, tap rack. We'll show you uh, the times on each to give you an idea on which one is faster. Okay, here we go.
Okay, we've got uh, seven, five, seven on that one. Swap out magazines. And I'm gonna go with the same cadence to uh, make sure you guys don't think I'm trying to speed up or whatever the case may be. So here we go. And six, six, nine. So almost a full second faster. And in a defensive situation when seconds matter, uh, that's really what it boils down to. So. All right, guys, so there you go. Like I said, second strike capability is a really great uh, asset, especially for a defensive pistol that you plan on carrying on a regular basis that will allow you to uh, use that for dry fire practice at home. But in a practical situation, I do not recommend utilizing the second strike capability. If you have the opportunity to get some training, by all means, get out there and do it. I know it's hard to do so right now. Finances are tight. Finding ammunition to train with is very difficult as well. But I highly recommend it, especially if you're able to uh, afford it and find ammo to do so. Um, that's, that's the biggest thing that I can recommend. Get training and you'll learn that the tap rack is the only remedial action that you should concern yourself with when it comes to fixing a problem with your firearm to ensure that you're able to defend yourself, your family, your home as quickly as possible. With that being said, sound off in the comment section down below. Am I completely off base here? I don't think I am, but if you have a different perspective, I'd love to hear it. By all means, sound off in the comment section down below. And I really do appreciate you guys swinging by. Patreon crew, thank you so much for all of your support. I really couldn't do it without you guys and everyone else as well. If you could, give me a like, a comment, and share this video with your friends. That's the best way to uh, kind of spread the word and uh, kind of spread my reach to everybody out there. All right, we'll go ahead and get out of here. Thank you so much. We'll catch you guys later. As always, freedom through strength becomes a high five. See you guys later. Bye, y'all.